Well, it's Tinkerbell and Margaret Carey at large. And I'm going to be talking today about uh, Armistice Day. What you say, Armistice Day? Well, when, you know, I'm 94 and a half years old. And we used to call it Armistice Day because that was the end of World War I at 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, you all know that. But, but I have something special that happens to me at Armistice Day or Military Day or so, whatever you want to call it. It's a special day for me because, believe it or not, it is my half birthday. And I have the story here in my book. As I say, believe it or not, uh, I started at work, as you know, when I was about four. And my wonderful, annoying little mother decided to move my birthday back six months because that would make me appear to be so much smarter than all the other little kiddies. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. So uh, one day, I was about 15, I was ready for them to have the parade with the flags flying for my birthday. And my dad called me over and says, Daryl, this isn't your birthday. I mean, the whole bottom of my world fell out. What are you talking about? So he says, quiet down now. Let me tell you what your mother did. Your birthday is really May 11th. And uh, uh, you, you think it's this birthday. And I said, I'm going to die. I think I'll go suck the iodine off my wound and I will die. I will show you. Well, and of course, I didn't. I got over it. And so I wrote this in my little book here. Well, it's not so little. There's about 400 pages with 80 stories in it and 160 pages. And it's called Tinkerbell Talks. Oh, and you can get it at the website, my website, TinkerbellTalks.com. But it's a great story to, to talk about on Armistice Day. And I salute you all. <laughs> So here's a little pixie dust, and we'll see you soon. Bye.